install your engineering floor, in this case, this kind, uh, around your frames and the doors. Um, you must cut the casing, this is the casing, and what we want to make sure is that it kind of slides in freely, so you actually use it right on top of the padding that you're you're able to use. I'm using a Bosch oxalating saw. It has different speeds, uh, 12 volt battery, and really useful for many things. And this one has actually a metal and a wood saw in case of you finding small, you know, traces of metal or nails. Um, place the the molding uh, or the the piece of engineer floor, the cut, right next to the door stop. In this case, I already cut this one. So um, apply um, the tool. Using a flat screwdriver or a small wood chisel, you can remove the leftover. Make sure that you you can actually check if it slides in. And you do that all around your house or the areas that you're gonna do it, so you will have a nice finishing once you're done finishing the, the engineer floor. Cut all your pieces, in this case the door stopper and the casing. You proceed to make the proper or respective markings for the the cutout that you're gonna do to the piece. In this case, I'm using a small piece using engineer floor uh, that has the lip to the continuation. The reason is that closets are really tricky to work with and you want to uh, avoid long, long pieces, especially at, at the entrance of the of the door frames. Um, so um, place it right next to the, the edge of your frame, do the mark, and come back to the other side and do the mark respectively. Using a, a regular square, made the line and then proceed to cut with your miter saw or whatever tool you're using to do it.